card for Scorpio for the month of May. This can apply to your sun, moon, rising, Venus, signs, north node. Or if you cross watching for a Scorpio. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio for the month of May? Two cards came out. You know what? I'm going to take them. <sighs> Scorpio, we have the Knight of Swords, the World, Judgment. The Page of Swords, Death, with the Magician. Oh, all these major arcanas. We have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Yeah, um, Scorpio. I feel like you're putting something to rest. I feel like you could be getting over on something. Like, you, the energy I'm picking up on, like, you just don't care anymore. I feel like in a month of May, I feel like you're letting something go. And you don't care anymore. But whatever this is, I feel like the reason why you don't care about a person or a situation anymore... Because I feel like the more you think about this situation or this person, it don't make sense to you. It don't make sense to you. You feel like something could be juvenile, a person is juvenile, childish, or this situation, I heard stupid, childish. It don't make sense anyway, so... Why feed into it or why give your energy into it? I feel like you're letting something go in the month of May. Whatever this is, um, Scorpio, I feel like the reason why you letting it go because how you feel, you feel like I'm too old for this shit. In the month of May, Scorpio, I feel like you're going to be taking maybe your life seriously or more serious or... Um, you're going to be more cautious on the decisions you make, the things you say. But I feel like, I, I feel like it, it has something to do with your maturity. It's like your mind is expanding. Or you could be seeing things from like a whole different perspective. Or it's like a cycle is closed. Like, Scorpio, you could be learning how to um, find peace and, um, like, in situations. Like, Scorpio, maybe you had a, a mindset, like a, a revenge type of mindset. Like, I'm going to get that motherfucker. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. I'm going to, yeah, 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 yeah. Scorpio, you could have been so revengeful or you could have been, like, I don't know, like maybe petty. Petty, you got to get your lick back. I'm going to get them back. They did this to me. I'm going to get them back. But I feel like in a month of May, how you used to think and how you used to handle situations, I feel like in the month of May, you letting it be. Like, you know, if they, for example, if you find out somebody stole money from you back then, you would have got this person back from stealing from you. <laughs> but now, in the month of May, I feel like you letting it be. Like, okay, you know, fuck it. They stole money from me. Clearly, this person is broke, pathetic, uh, <laughs> right? So, it's like, Scorpio, how you feel. It's like you're not tripping out the small stuff. Like, man... Yeah, they, they stole money from me, but I can now the new you, the new you is like, I can always get that shit back because I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm highly favored. So, 
fuck them. You know, they had to steal money from me. They broke his head. They must be broke. Times must be hard for them. And I hope I bless them with the money they stole from me. It, I'm using it for example, but I feel like, Scorpio, your mindset, you're changing to where you, not, you, you don't care about the small stuff no more. Back then, you would have felt like this is a, this is a, uh oh, oh, this, this situation, this is something serious. This is serious. I gotta get them back. It's serious. They stole money from me. They lied to me. I'ma lie to them back, or I'ma get them back, or um, they slept with my, they slept with my girl, so I'ma sleep with his girl. You know, I feel like that's you back then. The new you, Scorpio. I mean. If they slept with, if they was able to sleep with my girl, honestly, they both pathetic. And then, shit, if they was able to sleep with my girl, was this person really my girl? And then, Scorpio, how you, the new you, how you feel? This person, they so pathetic. They don't even have, look at them, like, uh, they out here sleeping around with everybody. This person don't even have self-respect for themselves. They don't even have self-respect for themselves and the nerve of me to think they had respect for me in our relationship. So, you know, honestly, they just sleep with each other. They both pathetic. The sex was even all, all that great anyway. Who cares? It's like you're just letting shit be, Scorpio. <laughs> you don't care no more. This is gross. Gross, okay? Oh, um, Scorpio, that's all I have for this reading. But like you're you're growing, you're maturing, and it's a lot of stuff you gave you used to feed into. But how you feel when you think of yourself and your life, you feel like you're so blessed, you came so far. You know why risk it all, or why give your energy and stress and try to get back these people that's below you or don't know any better anyway. But yeah, that's all I have for this reading. Thank you. Bye-bye.